going to try and bait you, Josh. You understand what I'm saying? Lloyd Russell. Yeah, that'll last. Are you listening to me? They're going to try and bait me. They want you to say something arrogant. I don't need baiting for that. Good, then. Let's deal. <clears throat> I'm sorry? What do we get? For what? Insulting millions of Americans. Well, like Josh said... I heard what Josh said, Toby. What do we get? We're not prepared to make any sort of a deal right now. Sure we are. M Mary, I... My read of the landscape is that you're cleaning out your desk before the end of business today, so I'd just as soon negotiate with Toby if it's all the same to you. Mary... Please allow me to work. It was only a matter of time with you, Josh. Yeah. That New York sense of humor was just a little Mary, bit... Reverend, no please, need... they think they're so much smarter. They think it's smart talk, but nobody else does. I'm actually from Connecticut, but that's neither here nor there. The, the, the point is, Mary, I... She meant Jewish. What she said, New York sense of humor. She was talking about you and me. You know what, Toby? Let's not even go there. I don't like what I've just been accused of. Well, I'm afraid that's just tough, Mrs. Marsh. The first commandment says, honor thy father. No, it doesn't. Toby, it doesn't. Listen to no, I mean, if I'm going to make you sit through this preposterous exercise, we're going to get the names of the damn commandments right. OK, here we go. Honor thy father is the third commandment. Then what's the first commandment? I am the Lord your God. Thou shalt worship no other god before me. Boy, those were the days, huh? Good afternoon, Mr. President. Al. What do we got here, CJ? Well, we've got some hot tempers, Mr. President. Mary. Uh, Mr. President, I'm uh, John Van Dyke. Yes. Reverend? Uh, may I ask you a question, sir? Of course. If our children can buy pornography on any street corner for $5, isn't that too high a price to pay for free speech? No. Really? On the other hand, I do think that $5 is too high a price to pay for pornography. Why don't we all sit down? No, let's not, CJ. You know, my wife, Abby, she never wants me to do anything while I'm upset. Thank you, Mr. Lewis. 28 years ago, I came home from a very bad day at the State House. I tell Abby I'm going out for a drive. I get in the station wagon, put it in reverse, and pull out of the garage full speed. Except I forgot to open the garage door. Abby told me not to drive while I was upset, and she was right. She was right yesterday when she told me not to get on that damn bicycle while I was upset, but I did it anyway. And I guess I was just about as angry as I've ever been in my life. Seems my granddaughter Annie had given an interview in one of those teen magazines, and somewhere between movie stars and makeup tips, she talked about her feelings on a woman's right to choose. Now, Annie, all of 12, has always been precocious, but she's got a good head on her shoulders, and I like it when she uses it, so I couldn't understand it when her mother called me in tears yesterday. I said, Elizabeth, what's wrong? She said, it's Annie. Now, I love my family, and I've read my Bible from cover to cover, so I want you to tell me, from what part of Holy Scripture do you suppose the lambs of God drew their divine inspiration when they sent my 12-year-old granddaughter a Raggedy Ann doll with a knife stuck through its throat? CJ, show these people out. I believe we can find the door. Find it now. With the clothes on their back, they came through a storm. And the ones that didn't die want a better life than they want it here. Talk about impressive. My point is this. Break's over. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Thank you sir. Josh. Too busy being indicted for tax fraud? Yes, sir. Mrs. Landingham, what's next? Governor Thomas and the Majority Leader have asked to be conferenced in. The group from NASA's is assembling for their photo op. At 7 o'clock, you have uh, cocktails. You have...